Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh, and today we'll be checking out Animal Rights by Ali G. Guys, please continue to leave your comments below. All our videos based on your comments. If you are subscribed, we check those out first. We also have a Patreon. If you can't afford to donate to it, it's all good. Just continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. That's all I can ask for. Guys, we also have a daily motion, so I'm going to put that link in the description. Make sure you guys go over there and um, start following us on there, too, because anything that gets blocked on here will go on there, which will be about four videos that were blocked today. So let's hope. Well, I haven't had any problems with allergies, so this shouldn't get blocked. Let's jump into it. I has rights, you have rights, even animals has rights. <laughs> <laughs> so earlier on, I got in two professors, an animal rights activist, and a woman with a hedgehog to ask them some questions. <laughs> We have an animal here in the studio. Should we get it out? <laughs> what the Ooh. fuck is that? <laughs> what is that? It's a hedgehog. A little wild creature. When they're afraid, they go into a ball. Ah, that, oh, that's what Now, it. isn't that's that? Cool. You like that now? But, like, after about five minutes after they've done that, why would you want to keep them? Because it's... <laughs> Part of our heritage to have wild You're asking a question uh, as though the value of that animal, I... or a flower, or anything, could I... only consist in, could only be its value to you. Okay. You're, oh, that's funny. I can eat it. I'm getting a laugh out of that, or it makes a good football, or whatever. I... That uh, would make a good football. Yeah. <laughs> but, but <laughs> the what? That is illegal. Yes, to use it them is. As it took a long yes, time. Yes, it is. Liz, what if a kid is poor and don't have enough money to buy a good you quality can't buy. football? That's very cool. But Liz, it is interesting because it's only in the last three or four years mm. that it has been illegal for a child to kick a hedgehog because, well, hell, I like that's kicking right. hedgehogs. That's right. I'm not talking about anyone. But, but what I was saying, what I was thinking about, it isn't They're, they're, they're looking at <laughs> um, To that extent. They would feel pain. Well, let's talk about people who teach their pets special things. Is that wrong? Because me got this mate Dave, him teach his pet to like go wicked when he's like it. It is an amazing thing to do. The, the pet can go wicked, this little dog. Michael, don't this guy, this dog that is being just as a little jab with the fork or whatever, <laughs> and he enjoying that. I don't know what you mean by a little jab, jab with, with a fork, fork or whatever. <laughs> uh, that rather worries yeah. me. Right? That worries me. Well, it don't hurt, bit. it don't bleed well, or don't, anything like that. No, and no, I ain't no, never no, done no, it, but no, this is a guy I know. Just a pin prick, as they say in the laboratory. OK, is it wrong for people to do experiments on animals in their own home? <laughs> it's wrong and unscientific. Because we did a thing years ago uh, with this mouse in this microwave, whatever, to try about nuclear, oh, to do a nuclear test to see if it could, you know, survive the nuclear thing, and it did survive. It came out, it was hot, whatever, but it was still alive. <laughs> Is that wrong? Yeah, that's pretty appalling. Pretty fiendish. So, Mikey, Mikey, as you have... Tell you what, I don't think this shit funny at all. <laughs> they oh, eaten no. the meat. Oh, no, I couldn't. What happened if you had, like, Big Mac here, really nice. Did you say Big Mac? Aye. I'd go out straight out of that door. Why? Uh, a Big Mac, I've never set foot in a McDonald's yet. What happened if there what was the best, of it? best meat and the best... What do if you, mean? you don't like ch what do you mean Big the Mac, best whatever, meat? the best chicken McNugget, whatever. Oh, chicken <laughs> McNugget? You mean that Colonel, that bogus Colonel? No. no. Colonel. <laughs> what if it was free? No, you have to think of it. Well, yes or no? What if it was free? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> what if someone no paid you a hundred squid? I wouldn't. <laughs> what happened if they say, here's a chicken, you eat this, or we kill another chicken? Just ask the question, which was the hardest question mm -hmm. that the toughest moral philosopher when I did philosophy at university mm -hmm. asked us. Mm -hmm. Wicked. Uh, yeah. I leave in the house. <laughs> Wicked. Oh, this dude is... <laughs> That was good. Oh my god. <laughs> if we said if you don't eat this, we'll kill another chicken. That is tough. That is tough. Man. That is tough, dude. Yeah, when we um it's crazy when we first started this channel, I was still vegetarian. Um I was vegetarian for about two years. 
and uh, I did it because Tay was vegetarian uh, for so long. I was like, I gotta give this. I give it a shot. I, there's so many good things out there, man. If Tay wasn't such a good cook, man, if Tay wasn't such a good cook, it'd be really, really hard. You know what I mean? But she's really good at cooking like vegetarian meals, so it wasn't so tough. It wasn't hard. There's so many alternatives now. But one thing she could not create um, was a steak. Tay could not make a good vegan steak, and I missed steak. And I miss, like, I mean, I, I didn't really miss burgers that much because vegan burgers are pretty good. If you've ever gone, go to um, Burger King and ask for an Impossible Burger and tell me that shit don't taste just like meat. It's fantastic. And before the Impossible Burger was out, there were other good altern alternatives for burgers too. So there's a lot of good alternatives, but there hasn't been, a, I haven't tasted a substitution for um, a steak yet. Um, and it's not like I eat steak every day, but I do get a taste for a steak at least once every couple weeks. Um... Sometimes once a month, depending, but most times, like, once every two weeks, I have myself a nice ribeye, so, but yeah, it's funny, Android Allergy, this dude's, uh, a freaking goofball, he really knows how to, uh, <laughs> rile people up, and it's fantastic, alright guys, that is all for this one, um, let's hope this doesn't get blocked or nothing, um, like I said, the stuff that's been getting blocked, I'm gonna put on Daily Motion. I probably, I'm probably, I, I'm gonna upload one today, um, because I never know when I'm going to need Daily Motion as, as what do you call it? As like a place to, you know, share the clips on Patreon and stuff like that. For example, say I'm, um, I switched over to Vimeo because it's more reliable, but it costs, you know? So I paid for the yearly package. It was 400 bucks, And I uploaded two videos and they would not transcode. I'm like, they weren't. I deleted them, did it again, would not transcode. Um, then I just did, deleted them, did it again. Went to bed, woke up, still didn't transcode. So I had to, like, submit, like, a, uh, for support and all that jazz. And um, then I finally got it to transcode, up, upload and transcode and everything, and it, it was good. But you never know when it's going to happen when you're trying to get something to post on uh, Patreon and stuff. So that's why I'll probably be doing, like, maybe two today because you only get so many each day on Daily Motion. They limit you how many uploads you can do. But there's uh, a few that were blocked today that I'm going to be putting on Daily Motion, at least two of them on Daily Motion. All right. So make sure you guys um it'll be in the link in the description. Make sure you guys click on that link, follow on Daily, Daily Motion, and I put it on there. Then I'm gonna slowly transition a um a few videos a day on there that you guys are probably seeing already because it's not gonna because once I'm done with the block stuff, I want to start getting the rest of the YouTube library over there too, just as a backup after the strike happened. It still has made me a little uneasy because another strike can come at any time, um, especially with how many blocks have been happening lately with in regards to um. A lot of the UK stuff, um, like like I didn't have, I never had problems with like stuff that was on Channel Four at first, but now Channel Four Four is blocking stuff, like a lot of the newer stuff. Um, what's a LDS is another company. I don't know who they are, but they have copyright claims on stuff as well. So I've been getting blocks from LDS now too, and I've never had problems with LDS. Uh, there's the, the a guy that somebody had sent me a, um, he mentioned this in one of his videos, but I, I want to say it's Taf three one six, I believe T A F F E. 316 or 916 or something like that but um whatever it is i have it i'm subscribed to him i have to go to his page and send him a couple messages because somehow he was able to get some like videos that i had problems with up like um in betweeners only thing in betweeners let me put up was the compilation but the other ones get blocked uh what do you call 68 percent of the population his stuff might actually be blocked 68 to 78 percent of the population too and just because i'm in america i can see it because whenever they block some companies go full block like, these block the whole thing. And other ones do the, um, where it says 68%, and I've had as high as 78%. Um, I'm assuming this regards, like, the laws, regulation, when it comes to broadcast and stuff, why the percentages change. But majority is 78%, um, a little bit less of is 68% than a small amount does a full block. Um, I think I've just been unlucky lately with some of these videos that have been just getting fully blocked. So even a VPN won't help because they don't want you sharing their content at all. Surprisingly, one of them was, um, uh, what do you call the Ricky Gervais show, the Derricks? Because he had, I guess he has his own YouTube page or something like that. And his stuff, if you you can't use his stuff, it blocks automatically. Um, I'm just surprised. I thought Ricky Gervais would like, you know, would just be okay with just like taking revenue. I think he'll want it blocked. But it's probably not necessarily him. He has like they said some. I read I, I, when I saw the copyright, I looked it up and it said he has like a YouTube channel. Um, they like he owns or what have you, but I'm pretty sure another like copyright agent, something like that runs. I doubt he's going through his own copyright stuff, and they probably told him like this is the best route to go. So not like I'm saying Ricky Gervais sucks because of it. It's just um whatever copyright agency is managing his stuff, 
It's by, like, no, we're going to block it. We don't want anybody to use your stuff. We don't want to do share revenue. We don't want to take the revenue. We just want to block it. So at the end of the day, it's his stuff. It's his choice. Um, but yeah, but that's why I have the daily motion. I'll be putting stuff over there on daily motion. Um, so you guys can watch it on there. So I won't have to keep on like, you know, just tossing clips in the old trash. It's good to have Patreon too. Cause sometimes I put the clip, I, um, sometimes I put the clips on Patreon as well, but it'd be mostly daily motion. So there's going to be a, like a, it's going to become daily motion. going to have my whole library, like, but also it's going to be a lot of daily motion exclusive stuff as well. Um, I think that's all. I just wanted to cover a lot more stuff and at the end of this video since it was short so you guys can know what's going on. And I think I'm, I'm going to do a... I'm, I think I'm going to start doing like a daily post where whatever gets blocked, I'm going to put the... what was blocked with the link so you guys don't have to... you guys know that I got to it. It's on daily motion so you don't have to like request it again. Because I know sometimes people feel like their like, requests again ignore it. And I'm trying to do a better job of communicating that. I'm not ignoring it. It's just a, it gets blocked. And what I used to do is just trash it. Like, okay, well, it, can, it can't go up, so it's time to trash it. I will first, I will try to edit it down and get it up first. And then if that doesn't work, I just try toss it in the trash. Because, like, what I'm going to do, watching the video, keeping the video of myself, reacting to something on my computer. Like, But, like, now that I've gotten more comfortable with Daily Motion and all that jazz, that's what I'm going to be putting a lot of the stuff at. But like I said, with the restrictions, it won't be a whole lot of stuff every day. It, like, YouTube, I can do as much as I want. Um, Vimeo, I can upload as, as much as I want. Daily Motion has that restriction, and since I pay for space on Vimeo, I don't want to use. I'm I'm because is that to be like you know a return on investment? So I pay like four hundred bucks for like the three terabyte package. Um, it's four hundred bucks a year, so that's still good. And um, they they bill you right at once, and I want to save the the three terabyte the it's th yeah three terabytes. I want to save that because that's patreon stuff stuff that's on patreon exclusive so i don't want to use that um use up all my storage on there daily motion just limits you how much a day but it doesn't say you have you don't have a, a, a total limit like you do on vimeo so if you guys wonder why i'm not just putting it on vimeo and sharing the link it's because it, it costs 400 bucks and i don't want to use up all of my um storage um so but yeah but it still will be on don't like you might have to wait a little longer but it will be on daily motion that's the good thing. It's going to be on there. All right? All right, guys. That is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.